Councillor Nessinger, please. This is the council, um, question for Councillor David Harty. This council has been running a consultation on reducing the pay and conditions of music teachers in Cambridgeshire. I have very serious concerns at the effect these changes will have on the capacity of the music service to recruit and retain staff, as the new terms and conditions are likely to mean that music teachers will be better off working as self-employed teachers rather than working for the music service. While children in the densely populated areas of the county will still have access to instrumental music teaching through self-employed teachers, I'm deeply concerned that children in more sparsely populated rural areas will gradually be left with no access to instrumental music teaching, as the time taken to travel to, each small, to a small number of pupils in small rural schools will mean that teaching instrumental music to these children is not economically viable for self-employed teachers. Can the Cabinet Member tell me what is being done to ensure that children in rural areas continue to have access to instrumental music tuition in schools? This is of particular importance given the extent of research showing that involvement in instrumental music is one of a relatively small number of factors which have been shown to reliably have a good effect on educational achievement. It is also important because the Cambridgeshire Music Academy in March, covering the Fenland area, is at present a fantastic institution. It would be a huge own goal from the music Could service we get brevity in the if question, the changes please. proposed were to threaten the excellent work which goes on there. Councillor Harty. Question. Uh, I'm clearly not uh, in favour of closing Cambridge Music. I want it to continue. It is an excellent service. But at the moment, as you're aware, there's a consultation period with regard to uh, um, the pay, pay, pay um, uh, of those various uh, uh, teachers and uh, music uh, teachers. Um, and, and I don't want to say anything at all about that at the moment there's an extension of the consultation period of seven days and then we'll have to look how, where we are at that point in time but we cannot continue paying higher than more commercial market rates that has to be remembered I have a supplementary yes I'd just like to know whether Councillor Harty recognises the issue that I raise about the issue of travel from small rural schools and whether they are looking at that as part of the consultation I do recognise the problem. I can't give you an answer at the moment, but I'll come back to you. 